So you ask people. And, um, and people think that, you know, I mean, pe classically, people think of research, right? And when you think of research, you probably think of surveys, or maybe you think of focus groups. But I mean, does everybody hate surveys? Yes, including your buyers. And the, the problem with surveys is if you do surveys, people, you're only going to get answers to the questions that you think to ask. And so what you really need to do is you need to talk to buyers who have been through this journey, been through this experience recently, and ask them to tell you a story about it. And it's really more like journalism than it is research. And if you, you know, take me back to the day when you first decided that you need to solve this kind of a problem, tell me what happened. And then you really just, it's more about listening than the questions you ask. And it's all about prompting the buyer as they tell their story to go deeper and deeper and deeper into different parts of their story. Oh, so, um, okay, so I can see that you decided you needed to solve that problem, but huh, you must have always needed that benefit or outcome. Why didn't you decide to solve it sooner? And it really gets you, now we start to get into the mind of the buyer around what triggers their decision to prioritize this type of investment. Because your buyers are busy just like you are and they, you know, they don't like want to go shopping for stuff every day. And so someday they wake up and say, we've got to solve this problem. And then we can walk them really slowly. So what did you do first to understand your options? And as we walk them through that story and like, oh, you went online, what was useful online? What wasn't useful? What did you hope to find? What was hard to find? Out of the site you looked at and or the, the content you saw, it doesn't have to be, you know, just on a website. What, out of the things you found, what was most helpful to you? What wasn't helpful? And it's, you know, I'm, I'm throwing out a lot of questions here, but the reality is, and, and this is why I wrote the book, because I wanted to kind of get people out of the mindset of writing down questions, which is like a survey, right? And then asking those questions. And I want to get people more into the, in, into the experience of having a conversation. And, you know, if, we, if we're going to go to a party and we're going to meet people we don't know, we don't write questions on our hand to ask at the party, right? But yet somehow when we get these uh, buyers on the phone or if we meet them somewhere, you know, we want to have the scripted questions. Well, forget that. That's going to blow the whole opportunity for you. So it's ask them. Ask them to tell the story.